Morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Total Warhammer 3. Welcome back to the ongoing quest for thickness for Colex Sun Eater. We've, got, we've done well so far. See, I realized I made a mistake last time. I only showed you, well, alongside the mistakes I made with the Puppets of Misrule, but oh well. I was only showing you guys Colex Mass, right? Big numbers, sure, but for a lot of you who perhaps don't play the game as much, or even just don't check the stats, or you didn't really have context for what makes a big, big... Well, let's take Chant. Actually, better yet, let's take these guys. This is a small entity, right? Aspiring Champion. Small entity, but these are big guys. If you were stood face to face with one, he would tower over you easily. Let's have a look at his mass. 600. Now, let's have a look at Chant. He's a reasonably big boy, like the Aspiring Champions, and he's on a horse. 2,100. Let's have a look at the Dragon Ogres, right? And these are the big things we've ha we have that have been wrecking most enemy units in the game. 1,700, it's even less. Chaos Spawn, 1,500. Chaos Trolls, 1,500. Now let's go back to Kolek. 8,702. The difference is staggering. <laughs> Kolek is fucking huge. He can push anything in the game pretty much out of his way. And he's not even as big as he can be yet. We're getting there. Also, Antero, congratulations. We have our first fan submitted, Lord. Welcome, Zeno. I hope you have a long and prosperous career serving the Dark Powers. And if not, well, that's probably what the Dark Powers wanted anyway. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I really want to get Kolek back here to get some more Dragon Ogres, to be honest, because the best way to play Kolek is to just have a Dragon Ogre spam. He works well with... Oh, excuse me. He works well with it. But it might be worth saving up to allow Xeno to get those Dragon Ogres so that we have them locked in. We could perhaps transfer them to um, Kolek at some point in the future. I think we've done all our moves for this turn. I don't know why I ended the last episode by completing a turn and then ending the episode when I should have just ended the turn and then ended the episode, but I don't do things in general, really. Kazag, do you want to trade? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want to give me some money. Yeah, I love money. Oh, I told you guys how much I love money, because I do. These are my vassals now as well. That'll probably change soon. I noticed that we have an ally mission. Ally mission. Yeah, yeah, these are pretty good. Yeah. Straight to business. Where shall we rip? I mean, there's nothing to discuss. You are my vassals now and forever. I promise, if I remember correctly, allied recruitment units don't benefit from warband upgrades. So we'd get Chaos Warriors now, which would be great, but we wouldn't be able to turn them into uh, Chosen further down the line. Not entirely certain on that. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Pretty sure you're not allowed. It would be a bit broken. I'm wondering if the Puppets of Misrule are going to pull any fancy maneuvers. There's Morkar. I'm 90% certain that um, Village is still alive. I come to think of it, those Puppets of Misrule units don't appear to be suffering attrition, which units tend to do once they run out of... Hey, buddy, how's it going? Don't even think about it. I weren't thinking. What makes you think I was thinking? I weren't thinking nothing. Zeno, you might be about to, um... I'm the puppet master, not you! You might be about to punch way above your weight. So to speak. Let's get you some dragon ogres. <laughs> you might need them. And, uh, yeah, some of those too. You still don't have enough units to defeat village. Straight up. Is that where our... Yeah, that's where our garrison is. How far can you move? Come and stop them. <sighs> because I said so. Might be able to stop them from destroying the Volary, but we'll see. That's going to be an ongoing conflict, for sure. Village is not going to go down without a fight, and Kolek is all the way over here. <sighs> yes, I do see. But I still think it'd be worth trying to hit the Wardens and take down the uh, Great Gate sooner rather than later. We've got nothing else going on in the East anyway. The Red Fortress is pretty safe. May as well just go for them. This could get interesting. I fear I'm sending Zeno to his death. It depends on the situation. If Village doesn't take the Volary this turn, 
then Zeno might be able to help defend it. If Village does take it, then, uh, 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 you know, she back right off. Luckily for us, Gruck has our back and he's taking care of Morkar for us. What an absolute lad. Look at that chunky boy. He's not as chunky as Kolek, but can appreciate some good chunk. Oh, yes, do give me the money and souls. Thank you. Now, Village is running out of units, which is quite good. I have bathed in lightning. I am energized. Yeah, bro, I do that every morning. It really sets me up for the day, you know, just bathe in lightning. Bit of money, thank you. The trade is very nice. Yeah, we want Kolek to level up as soon as possible. The volary has been lost. He didn't take it, he burnt it. It's interesting. Don't even think about it. He suffered losses, but... I'm the puppet master, not you! I don't think Village would be... I don't think Zeno could Just take him, is... Uh, what I'm getting at. Unfortunate that they lost the Volary because our outpost has been lost with it. That is unfortunate. He's got four units of Berserkers. They fight very well, it must be said. It's possible... It's possible that if... If Kolek was to hit the Turtle Gate and take it, we might get enough money to give Zeno enough troops to take on Village. Interference will cost you dear. But it would require Kolek to take the gate, which might be tricky. Yeah. Oh, you can't even get there yet. Anyway, no, you can't. Okay. Well, that's fairly moot then. It shall be. Yes, forged in blood. Start building up your winds of magic. Your Marauders will get to the next level anyway. Are you- you're rank 5, is that enough to get a Warriors- Oh, it is! Chaos Warriors, let's fucking go! Big improvements. But this doesn't change the fact that, uh, Xeno cannot take Billich right now, he straight up can't. Yes, my ruinous powers! Ruinous- ruinous powers, it's very good. Power. That's a pretty standard early game army. Yes, it is, so. is there any way you get a really good ambush chance? That's what we'd want. Despite all of these trees. Oh, wow, 50%. Oh, boy. Luck be a lady tonight. Famine, stop them. Alright, I've got an idea. Because you can only get to there. So if we have Zeno go. Like here, I'm going to ambush stance. Chances of that succeeding are extremely low, but if Village attacks him, Zeno can back off and will be out of range. So it should be okay. And now it gives Zeno more time to either mass more troops or retreat to the Challenge Stone to then actually fend him off properly. That's all I got. I'm relatively confident that Zeno could fend him off at the Challenge Stone. The problem is that Village might not be going for the Challenge Stone. He might be doing literally anything else. I think he just took the Volary. Which presents us with an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. Because Village will be tired from doing that. Colonizing ruins takes energy. Or what I should say, at least, perhaps takes energy is not accurate. It, um, it gives your... it makes all your units tired, basically. Now, you don't have enough money to hire enough troops. Four additional units of war dogs to bring you up to 17. I'm the puppet master, not you! Village's army is wound. Somehow his garrison is completely filled, which is fucking bullshit, but okay. Is what I want. Hmm. We got gifted units? Not here, apparently. A glorifying act. Oh, with more money, you could get Marauder Horseman, and that might make a difference. Okay, a lot of this comes down to how the battle for Turtle Gate goes. Huo Luan has fucking abandoned the Turtle Gate because Kolek's on the way. I can't say I blame him. A Pyrrhic victory, you say? No, I think we can do better than that. Yeah, I think we can do better. Once again, the speed and health and success of our campaign boils down to making sure we're fighting these battles properly. And that means buying the bullet and fighting a couple of these. Jade Warriors are tough. They're not that tough. 
if uh, Huo Luan was still here, I think they might have stood a decent chance. Or at the very least, I personally probably could have won the battle if I was commanding the other side. But as it currently stands, I don't think they've got a leg to stand on. I think we're alright. But, I've been made to look stupid on the internet before. Let's not get too cocky. We also have a sizable ground force. We have a lot of ogres, trolls, some chaos spawn, Kolek himself, and a warrior wizard. So we can give them something to worry about on the floor, whilst our marauders, the forsaken, and the chaos warriors, and the aspiring champions scale the walls. I might have the dogs go all the way over there and just draw some of their forces away. Yeah, 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 we got options, we got options. They'll probably post soldiers there. I'll probably end up moving them around to there, and then they will attack in there. And then they'll have to move along, and it just wastes some of their time. For the chaos gods. That's the plan, anyway. I don't know if it'll fucking work. And do I look like some kind of strategist to Tremble, you? Because I'm not. Agreed fools. Agreed fools. Everyone's a fool except for me. Smile, you fools. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Make it happen, boys. Get that. Smash that. How's it looking over here? Yeah, they posted units. Go over there instead. Or actually, they're just... They haven't... Go over there anyway. It'll, it'll be easier. Uh, oh yeah, Shatterstone, I forgot about this. And then... Not a lot you can do from there. There we go! Go get them. That already did a lot of damage to them. The music's changed immediately to signify that we're winning. Look how big Kolek is! Fucking hell! Wow! What a big boy! Now, those are anti-large, but they can't stop us. I think the frame rate is actually slowing down a little bit. Ugh. Okay, fire boy. Make a big fire. The frame rate is cha tanking a bit, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, it is slowing down. I don't even know why I asked them to go on the walls. It's pointless now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere else we can use Shatterstone? Anywhere else we could score a quick kill? There was, but they moved. Sad. Oh well. Oh yeah. Do a little bit of that there. Star Crusher. Tempest Rage. Oh my god. Well that happened. Get down there and take care of them. Yep, it's very good. They're going up the walls. Have you guys broken the gate? Yeah, you have. Is there anywhere we want to get them moving? Go up through there. I've got plans for you. Yes, I do. You can probably overwhelm them, but why do that when you can take positions instead? Oh, it's slowing down. This might be a bit much for my computer right now. Maybe. I don't think I've left anything else running. Nah, it's just slowing down. Seems to be running a little more smoother now. I think it's okay. See how you look now. Ah, uh, see, it's not that bad, to be honest. Eh, medium, medium is fine. Flame storm, yes, please. Now, the fact that it moves around randomly is a bit of a downer because you'll end up missing half the time, but it's extremely powerful and it's very fun to use. So really, that's all you need from a magic spell, isn't it? The problem is we might need to take time to reinforce um, the Turtle Gate before moving on to the Dragon Gate. Or we could get Shan Liang to defend it. Get Shan Liang to start heading towards the Turtle Gate to defend it. Colette can recover. And then maybe... I'd like to hit the Dragon Gate, but that's risky. My will does not bend. That's not so bad. All you have is peasant spearmen and peasant archers. We should be able to take that. Only the dragons. That could probably go quite well. See what happens. I'm really hoping Village takes the bait.
If taking the Volary gives me an opportunity to actually... If I could subjugate Village, that would work just fine for me. I gotta be honest. It's another vassal. It's a strong vassal. And uh, it will make Kolek bigger. I'm going to wait until Shang Liang actually comes here and then move Kolek. Kolek needs time to recover anyway. So let's have a quick look. Your mass, 8,702. Very good. Let's see how much it goes up by. Provided this works. If this doesn't work the way I think it will, I'll have Zeno run the fuck away. But Zeno could do of experience anyway, to be fair. Close victory? What game are you looking at? No, 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 no. Once Zeno's taken care of these guys, if he does manage to subjugate the puppets of Misra, I'll send him to start dealing with the ogres. Let's get him to do some work. That reminds me, Zeno. I have a, after this battle, I have a question for you, so uh, stay tuned. Pretty simple strategies here. Marauder horsemen go after their war dogs. War dogs go after their marauder horsemen. Everyone else form up. Chaos comes. And uh, await orders. But you guys are throwing axes? I'm pretty sure you're spears, isn't you? Doesn't really matter, but. That was my understanding of events. Yeah, they're already in trouble. I thought so we might be able to minimize casualties by just having the horsemen. Uh, shoot the enemy troops for a while. It does require those dogs to go away. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Alright, off you go. No need to get killed. Enemy are moving towards us. Just charge him. They're all split up. They're all in the wrong place. Yeah, boys! Oh, they, they, they should run away if they know what's good for them. Um, they've come back, or they're probably gonna come back. They have come back. The Dark Gods command me! Chaos Marauders! Marauder Horsemen! You guys, turn off skirmish mode, loop around there, start throwing stuff in their backs. They're already dead. Kindly go over there and take care of them. They don't stand a fucking chance. Remember, when the game gives you a less than favorable outcome in uh, auto resolve, you should look at the units on the battlefield and ask yourself why. Why is the game giving me this outcome? If it's because you're fighting, say, beastmen, you should probably just take the auto resolve and be happy with it because beastmen always fight better in auto resolve than they do. Sorry, they always fight better in actual battle than they do in auto resolve. So you should just take the result and be happy with it if it's going to let you win. Against these guys, though, a situation where we clearly outpace them, don't accept heavy casualties. Just don't. Fight them. Fight. Win. Dominate. Do what must be done. This is what must be done. We've absolutely trashed them. With fuck all casualties. And all it took was a little bit of sneakiness, a little bit of finagling, a little bit of jerking them around. We suffered 48 casualties. I bet we would have suffered around 300 if we had let the game play this the way it wanted to. Probably would have lost most of the war dogs, probably would have lost a lot of Marauder horsemen. Not necessary. That unit of Chaos Warriors didn't even join the fight. See that? That's key, right? That unit of Chaos Warriors only scored 12 kills and is practically at full unit health. They're now going to be obliterated because we've taken the settlement. The key is to do two things, or well, multiple things actually. We'll say three for the purpose of simplicity. A, remove threats. If anything's a threat, look at the battlefield and be like, can you get rid of it? If you can get rid of it, obviously do so. Your second focus should be killing. Every unit you kill without suffering much in return brings you closer to victory thanks to the army loss penalty system. Third of all, do the enemy have strong units? Like, you know, identify the threats like we said before. Can we stop them from being used? Can we prevent them from fulfilling their role? In this, in this sense, that unit of Chaos Warriors, which is a powerful melee unit, 
scored 12 kills, which is pathetic. And I can tell you now that any of those kills were not Dragon Ogres, so they didn't kill anything valuable. Stop them from doing what they want to do. That's how you win. I could gift it to my vassal, or I could subjugate them myself. Oh, I think I will. Now I own the puppets of Misrule. Fucking lovely. Xeno gained a mount. The village is now under my control. I'm sure he's very happy about it. The puppet master is now my puppet. You see the irony, yeah? So, Zeno, I have a question for you, okay? This is you right now. You just got a ho you just got a horse. You know, you're doing pretty well. I'm gonna give you this potion of toughness because why not? It'll help keep you alive. Um, my question to you is do you want to stay like this? Do you want to be this? Would you like me to devote you to Corn? Would you like me to devote you to Slanesh? Would you like to become a demon? Would you like to become a demon of Corn or a demon of Slanesh? So if you, I mean, you probably do know about this stuff, but just in case you don't, let me clarify. Corn is the god of blood, murder, war, and combat. Slanesh is the god of excess, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And Undivided is just no god in particular, just pure chaos. So, are you, if you want any of these three, or if you want to become a demon of Slanesh or a demon of corn, let me know. I'll set it up for you. Or if you want to literally stay as this Chaos Lord, which would not even be a bad choice, right? I'm not going to try and push you away from that because normal Chaos Lords are cool. I like them. You look like a fucking badass here. Let me know. I'll set it up for you as the campaign goes on, but let's level you up first. Uh, Root March, a dominating presence. You're not going to get a lot of time before you get to the Path of Glory. But we should level you up just in case you want to stay this way. You do, you can't buff Marauder Berserkers because... Well, actually, let's find out. Melee attack for all non-demonic infantry units. I am yeah, you don't buff them because they're um, allied units. But the Marauders are stronger now, and when they become Chaos Warriors, they'll be even better. So, that's good. We're going to start moving you... Oh, you took Gorger Rock. Nice one. Let's see if we can get you to Carrick Vrag. Or we could go to war with Grimgore, or we could fight Magathkin. Look toward taking the plains of Zambajin, getting another d dark fortress. Grimgore did make a non-aggression pact with us, so we're kind of safe from war with him for now, so... I say we move towards getting more dark fortresses and expand our power. If we can get you over there... Right actually try and take the plains of Zambajin first, then we can hit the gallows tree and subjugate them, and then we have another vassal. Speaking of which, let's have a look at Sunnier. How's he doing? 9,003 mass. He's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. His armor is good. His weapon strength is good. Oh yeah, it's happening. It's going good. I'm gonna keep him there for one more turn just until our allies get here. So we don't accidentally lose it. And next turn, we'll get the lookout post, so defensive supplies and additional garrison, which will help keep the place safe. Armament available, I dare say. Foster cults, I suppose. Uh, gifts. Apparently we have new ones. They're going to be undivided, obviously. I like Shatterstone, but I don't... Actually, considering we're about to attack the Great Wall of fucking China, we should probably keep Ruinous Bulwark. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, we should probably hold on to that. Crown of Kings would help us lower our overall costs, though, and Undying Oath would help us increase our income from our vassals, even though vassal income is currently... Ah, it's at 300, actually. That's pretty good. I tell you what. We don't need this. It's nice, but we don't need it. What we do need is Undying Oath. And that will apply next turn, I believe. So can we get you any... any of these? Are Norskin Hounds better than ours? No, they're not. Norska doesn't have a lot to offer us, really. Some ranged units, but they're meh. Right, they're like short-ranged. They're short-ranged ranged units, they're not, they're not great. 
We don't need anti-large because we have dragon ogres. Dragon ogres are anti-large. That'll do the trick. Marauder hunters do an exceptional amount of damage and are armor piercing. So that could be something. But the range is just so pathetic. And they're okay in melee. They're actually pretty decent in melee, but... Here right, here's what we'll do. Here are two units. We don't need four units of Warhounds. That's too much. Yes. I didn't want that. No, I wanted Marauder Hunters. Yeah. We'll go like that. Dragon Gate's going to be tough. Miao Ying is also nearby, and she may well attack the Turtle Gate at some point. That'll be tricky. If Shan Liang will do his job and actually head over there and defend the gate, though, we should be able to hold it. We can take the Dragon Gate and then take the other gate. We should be able to subjugate the Wardens. And then... That's another vassal. Flesh Greeters. Oh, they're moving to defend the settlement. Oh, they don't even need to do that anymore. Oh, okay, but they're doing it, I guess. There we go. Shan Liang is here. Despoil and ravage. My will does not bend. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I dare have an idea. Yes, I do. Continue buff buffing our, our winds of magic. We'll send you over there. Northman come. Hmm. Chaos Rebel Uprising. Did my vassal fuck up? Did they fail to apprehend the miscreants? Kolek does not tolerate failure. I think the Flesh Greeders owned Iron Storm. I think I gave it to them, and then the Chaos Corruption got so high that they couldn't maintain public order. Because look, Lothar's over here, he's fine. I thought it was these guys who lost it, but no. Lothar, I got a job for you. Attack Snake Gate, and then we might be able to focus all our forces on Dragon Gate when the time comes. That's not so bad, because Kolek can just go over there and murder them. And I'll probably end up giving it to the Usyk or something, and then they'll get stronger, or if it'll be fine. Eh, it's all good. Fregnus is on his way to do something. Respect. We don't have a lot of money, so... We have to play things chill for now. But I don't know how Zeno's gonna take uh, the plains of Zambajin with 15 units when they have 11 units and probably a Lord Station there, unless he gets over there quietly. And I mean quietly. And I mean quietly. <laughs> we might be able to get him a few more units. Overwhelming melee infantry is actually surprisingly good for taking walled settlements. We'll get you one of those. combination of these should be able to do it. Marauder Berserkers are nothing to sniff at. A vast tide of Viking warriors can, in fact, get a lot done. We should definitely put Village to work at some point, though. The problem with taking the, uh, the Great Wall is that, yeah, we're taking places and that's really nice, but it's not actually <clears throat> improving our finances in any way, shape, or form. Pretty sure it isn't anyway. Let me check Turtle Gate. Yes, producing no money. It's not helping us in that respect. Oh, for God's sake. Well, yeah, help Hua Peng take it, and then that's sorted. It's not like we want it for ourselves anyway. Yusuk can have it, it's fine. Want to hurry with this stuff, though, because we are losing um, souls per turn, not making much money. We need to get some stuff done. I can't subjugate Chaos Rebels, so... <sighs> Letting the Usyk have it is the best outcome by far. If I can give it back to the Ogres, I will, but I don't think the game will let me, so we'll probably lose a vassal. Oh, Gruk's attacking! Oh, perfect! Good! Gruk, you absolute lad! Let's help you take it back. And we'll sacrifice to the Dark Gods, as we tend to. And now they've got Iron Storm back. Maybe you should keep someone there this time, so this doesn't happen again.
Now, I know you lost the place because we're, um, putting out so much chaos corruption that you literally can't hold on to it, but... The more asks it. Brock, you need to be better. Oh, we can get these now. Experience gain for undivided lords and heroes, poor glyph for all undivided characters, or less upkeep for chaos marauders at the exchange of them not being able to replenish. Seems questionable. Crown of Kings would lower overall upkeep. Not enough to make a real difference, but it does something. Your undivided authority is fairly low. Good, you can make a beeline right for the planes. We've got some money. We've got some money. Uh, we can't afford those dragon ogres. Let's get another unit marauders. You'll be good to go when the time comes. So, our finances are not good in terms of favor or souls, but we can turn it around, I'm sure. What we need to do is just get a couple fights done. Akolek is very good at this. This is kind of his whole shtick. I have bathed in lightning. I am energized. Please tell me you want to trade. Ah, oh, beautiful, perfect, good, yes. Trade, trade ah. with me. Very good. A 68 favor per turn, we're practically in the black. Except we're not. I'm being very sarcastic. Okay, it's fine. It helps. It does help. We're getting decent vassal tribute. You have my favor. You can't get to the plains this just yet. So. What do you need to raid? You need 25%. Okay, so... Go to there. Joyfully done! That's a fairly manageable army to beat. Do that and get some money. You get Nurgle units here, but I don't really, you don't really need Nurgle units is the thing. They'll cost more. Xeno has a full stack. At the very least, at the very minimum, he has a full army. You can't get there yet, can you? Mother f mm -hmm. fine, fine. I am no one's slave. A caravan, you say? Tempest incarnate. That would be good to hit, but I don't know where he's going. I bow only before dragons. I will destroy. We'll start heading towards there anyway. The gods will. It's a decent place to hit. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll run away again. That'd be fun. I'd love it if he did that. We are running out of souls. Give it another turn or two. We look, we're look. we looking to be about to get into some rather large battles, which should fill us up on souls again. Should be. I don't know. We'll see. Raid the snake gate. Why would I bother? I could just attack it. Interesting. More interestingly, though, let's look over here. You know what? Uh, Bubo boy isn't even defending the gallows tree. How many settlements do these guys have, Magathkin? Two. So if Zeno could take the plains of Zambajin and then take the gallows tree, we could subjugate them. And we could take that first, get the Darkhold for ourselves, which is where all the money is. And that could work out quite nicely. I highly doubt they've set an ambush, but I suppose it's not impossible. Pyrrhic victory, you say? No, I think we can do better. I definitely think we can do better. Through pure, overwhelming melee power, just an absolute army of melee units going in, we should be able to overpower them. I'm thinking regular marauders on the walls, berserkers and aspiring champions through the front gate being led by Zeno, and then if we have the marauder horsemen go somewhere else, might be able to lead some of their units away, or the Marauder Horsemen will be able to sneak in through the side and start capping places, maybe hit them in the back. It's not that I'm worried about losing. We're gonna win this, I almost guarantee it. It's about winning well.
because Magus Kin do have an army nearby, and it's a full army, and it might be stronger than Xenos. Now, I might be able to tactically outmaneuver them, but I could really do with an army that isn't busted up in order to do that. If we could get the horsemen to start taking uh, strategic locations, our units will get stronger and they'll defeat their enemies quicker. This is all the theory, anyway. So this lot will be a group. This lot will be a group. Uh, not including you. Don't lock, just go over here. You go down there, see if you can break a gate on your own and then start sneaking around. Regular Marauders on the walls, Berserkers, Aspiring Champions, Xeno, and the Dragon Ogres through the front gate. Chaos Chaos Marauders! They haven't defended this area properly. Close Excellent. Combat. Oh, and we still have Shatterstone, don't we? Fucking brilliant. Okay. Which means we don't even have to wait to open the gate. All will be Get him, Zeno. Kick their ass. <laughs> Lovely. They're breaking down that gate. Might actually just put them all into formation. It'll be easier. Nurglings, they could actually overwhelm them quite easily. You guys take care of them. You guys go over there. You get them. They're going up on the walls. We don't have anywhere else to use Shatterstone, because our units are going on the walls now. They'll get hurt if I try and do that. It's fine. How's this gate doing? Still holding. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Someone throwing plague shit at us? I don't like that. Get down there and help them out. A lot of enemy units down here, but we're dealing. The Berserkers are quite good. You don't even need to do anything, so... Get down and help with that. Did you guys break the gate yet? Yeah, you did. Swarm them and kill them. Doing great there, Zeno, doing great. Chaos Marauders. The Nurgle, which means they're quite hard to kill overall, but with enough with enough persistence we will make it happen. There's enough units here that it doesn't even matter how good they are in melee, because they will just overwhelm them. Good, good, good. How's it going over here? Their towers are quite powerful, I've noticed. The Dragon Ogres are suffering a bit, but... It's gonna be alright. We'll make it happen. How are these guys doing over here? Yeah, they're dying. Just good, because they're on their way. They're certainly holding, which is, you know, I guess it's to be expected from them, but it's also quite annoying. They're demons, so they won't end up fleeing, they'll end up disintegrating. I'm shocked that they're still holding. I don't think you guys are needed up there. Come down there. You lean into that. How's this going? They're gonna hit us in the back. It's 
interesting. Some of them are starting to melt, which is good. Yeah. Those guys are doing okay. Flanish is perverse glory. Destroy them all. Time to despoil. They will succumb. Focus on taking them all out, and then we'll evaluate our options from there. You're not actually doing anything. Go over there. They will succumb. Good, good, good. Army losses. There it is. Very good. All right. They actually got... They put up a little bit more of a fight than I was anticipating, I have to admit. Nurgle are quite tough. I suppose the advantage of Nurgle is um, their weakness is that they are really slow. So on an open field of battle, they're easily outmaneuvered. But if they're siege defending, well, to a certain point, you have to fight them. Now, my... Um, skirmishing force, the horsemen and the dogs, uh, probably would have been smarter actually to just have them skirmish a bit more rather than charge directly in. But there were so many numbers, I figured they'd overwhelm a swarm of Nurglings pretty pretty easily. Wasn't the case. Everything in their army is quite durable. We're doing okay. We did what we needed to. We could hold this against a Nurgle army, I think. Or if we're lucky, they won't arrive in t uh, back to that minor settlement in time to defend it. We can swoop in, subjugate them, and be done with it. More money, more vassals, more girth for Kolak. Yes, very good, very good, very good. Ah, well, we won't be doing that. Oh, right, that's one of his challenges, yeah. Mortal Supremacy Boon. And now you can be devoted to one of the uh, gods, but I won't do that yet until I hear back from you. Also, we don't have enough souls anyway, so it's moot. But every time you level up from now on, the soul cost goes down. So, it'll still be good. Oh, yeah, the Portal Glyph. Which means you can now summon units of Chaos Furies on the battlefield, which is actually very helpful. Some good stuff here. Good stuff you could potentially get. Doing well for now. You've got a lot of melee infantry that could do with being stronger. You dare. Armor and melee attack is always a win. Even in Marauder's Army, armor is so horrifically pathetic. Yeah, money please, thank you. We didn't get many souls for doing that. Oh, right, because they're demons. You don't really get souls for fighting demons. You get souls for fighting humans, which is convenient. That's where we are now. This place seems a little better defended. Let's see if the frame rate tanks this time as well. I hope not. I did turn down the graphics, but I don't know. It does show how much work goes into the uh, the maps in this game, especially these uh, battles on the walls of Cathay. Like, it's so grand, and there's so much detail that it just makes the game chug like a motherfucker, if your computer can't handle it alongside recording software. Which evidently mine can't. It runs fine when I'm not recording, but... Of course, um, OBS takes up quite a bit of processing power. Which doesn't surprise me. It's of no surprise to anyone. I did turn up the settings on that recently. It might be worth turning them back down. That might be worth doing. Then we're back here again. Is this familiar? It should be. Alright, we're going to spread out our attacking force a little bit more this time. Keep them back. I've got a plan. i got a little bit of a sneaky scheme going, you see. Storm cooler. Infantry. Because, you know, short range ranged units probably don't seem very useful right now, but I do have a plan. I do- I always have a plan. There's one thing you can be sure of is that I always have a plan. Get on the walls. Archers there. I think I'd like them to go away. That's right, go away. Go away where no one can see you. Go on. Fuck off. <laughs> yes. Now get in there and fuck them up. And then what we do... Get those guys on that wall. You guys are pushing up. That's very good. You guys aren't actually defending this wall, so I think I'll have the dogs attack in. If they do move units to defend it, well, they're being wasted, really. Uh, Fireboy, can you help us? Oh, I think you can. Throw that out and see what you can do. 
please go that way. Please go that way. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Throw that out too. I don't know, just do something. Take them out. Except for you, go over there. Oh yeah, we got something we can do. Oh fuck. Come on. And uh, you two, get your bonuses going. Yeah, big damage is being done. Very good, very good. They're taking down the wall. No, that wouldn't work there. Do you get it? Oh, yeah, you could. Yes. Oh, you immolated quite a few of them. None of them actually died, but they certainly weren't happy about it. You've broken that. Okay. Start by taking this gate. It helps us. How's everyone doing? They seem to be doing all right, to be honest. I tell you what, you go there. Yeah. And then you go around there. And you can start throwing into their back. Good. Good, 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 good. Go on, Kolak. Go on, Kolak. Show me who the sun eater is. It's you. It's you. Cast a fire spell on yourself because it will upset them immensely. Not as much as I was hoping, but hey, it did something. You guys are free. Get over there and help. Those trolls are doing well for themselves considering you're up against anti large shit. Get down there and sort it out. They're taking some casualties. I want to keep an eye on them. Last thing I want to do is lose Dragon Ogres, especially this early. Cool, you've done that. Let's see if you can get over there. You're not doing anything? Get down there. Y'all ain't doing nothing? Get down there. You. Get down there. You. Back off. Start backing off. We don't want to lose you. The trolls are actually handling that quite well. They're doing great. They're now throwing axes. Yeah, they are. You guys are running off. That's fine as long as you don't die. Bum, 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 bum. Yes, indeed. Chaos Spawn are doing a good... Yep, victory! Wow, that was a lot quicker because the fighting started a lot earlier and also because the game wasn't shitting itself. That was tough. That was a little tougher. Um, I don't think we're in danger of losing, but if they... Um, a couple changes could have made that a bit more difficult for us and they could have even ended up killing some of our units, but eh, it all worked out. Chant nearly died. That was spooky. Didn't want to lose him. Spellcasting is very handy, even though, even though during that battle I spellcasted really poorly, it was still helpful. Fire magic is helpful even if you don't cast well. 200 souls, that's less than we're going to lose this turn. Oh boy. Attuned to Shaman. Ooh. Tuned to Ulgu. Got Sapper. We have secured this bastion. We'll spread more chaos, which is just lovely. They'll start feeling the effects of chaos soon, for sure. I will destroy. Extra power for the Dragon Ogres and his That's army. Very fine. good. Let's see what you got, buddy. You've got all of them now. Attuned to Shaman, so he's got a uh, free use of Gehenna's Golden Hounds, which is a great spell, by the way. And attuned to Ulgu, 
free use of Penumbral Pendulum, which he already had, and Mage Hunter, yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. And I could devote him to Zinch, Slanesh, or Zinch again, but Lore of Metal, but like I said before, I'd much rather keep Chant as he is. Despite the size of Wan Shan's army, it is just consisting of uh, peasants. Of literally just peasants, although there is a lot of missile infantry, which I don't like. The combination of uh, anti-large infantry and archers mean they would probably be able to take down most of our big boys, which is not great. No. It might be worth, in, uh, in, in the instance of the Dragon Gate, it might be worth sieging them down. Perhaps bring Shan Liang along to help us. We need to make progress, we need to kill things, because we're running out of souls. Remove that gift, we can't afford it anymore. Definitely the soul requirements that are kind of bleeding us dry at the moment, though. Ah. Uh, Grimgore, don't be... don't be... Uh. Grimgore, you fucker. Alright, well Zeno's gonna have to move quickly, then. But that is a good source of souls. Greenskins do have souls. Contrary to popular opinion. Ah, Dungrot went back to the Gallo Tree. Ah, fucking brilliant. Doesn't matter. It just means Zeno's gonna have to go above and beyond. But as I'm sure you've all figured, if Grimgore is ending our treaty, that means one thing. That he's planning to declare war. So we need to be ready for it. The Flymaster serves only Nurgle. Now he's only got demons, and not particularly powerful ones either. He's got a beast of Nurgle, which could be a bit rough, but other than that, not a lot of strong stuff. Which means I think Zeno can take him. It's just going to be really difficult. It's expensive, but he'll keep it safe. You're supposed to be defending the Turtle Gate. I don't know why you're not doing that. Whatever. I want you to attack that, because Kolek's going to go over there and siege it, and I want you to provide support. We'll see how well my minions perform in this respect. These guys are anti-infantry. Looking at the situation as it is... Bring it down to brass tacks. They outnumber us. They have 24 units available to them. We only have 20. This is a bad start. They have a spellcaster. Their lord is a spellcaster. We don't have a spellcaster. They have Curse of the Slug as well, which is not great. Are you a we have a speed I advantage. As far as I can tell, we have a speed advantage. Our units are actually more experienced than theirs, but it's not a big difference, me, so... Me. It's iffy. Zeno does buff his standard Marauders, which brings their melee attack up to a level where it can actually fight quite well. They get a bit more armor as well, which is good. I think they're lacking in armor piercing. For the most part, they're lacking in armor piercing. The Beast of Nurgle is going to be a pain because he can regenerate. I was initially considering perhaps sending the Marauder Horseman to deal with him, but I don't think it'll work out very well. We're going to get a lot of use out of the Marauder Horseman, I think. At the very least, they're going to spend all of their ammo killing as much as they can. After that, I say the Warhounds and the Marauder Horsemen are going to have to focus on picking vulnerable targets and killing them. But as we saw in the siege battle, that's not a quick process. Perhaps if we set them up a bit differently next time, so perhaps the Marauder Horsemen take the brunt of the attack, sort of lead the charge into the unit, and then have the Chaos Warhounds go around the back, because they have the higher melee attack power and higher... Well, they have the higher melee attack at any rate, so they'll probably do a bit more from their lower melee defense as well. They're less durable overall. Well, they're roughly the same, actually. Dragon Ogres are going to be in the thick of it, without a doubt. Um, and then these guys are obviously going to be charging in headlong. Zeno's going to be in the thick of it. I wonder if there's any items we can give him. He's got a potion of toughness. I can't give him Star Crusher, as funny as that would be. The other tricks to shard wouldn't help, because we don't have any spells. Nah, we got what we got. All that's left is to go for it. We also don't know what all, all of the units the Dongrut has, so could be difficult. He has some Warhounds. That's annoying. I was really hoping he wouldn't. The game claims we'd win. We'd lose two units of Marauders if we did so. If we were resolved. 
See, this actually plays into what I was saying earlier, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm looking at this and I'm not sure I can do a better job. Because this is going to be mo mostly a melee clash. He's got Exalted Plague Bearers of Nurgle as well, which have ranged attacks, which probably do quite a lot of damage. They also have a Spellcaster. They have fast units. Multiple fast units. I don't think I would do a better job than the Auto Resolve is giving me, so I think I'm going to take it. We can replace Marauders quite easily. But if I lost this battle, I'd lose practically everything, and that money was insane. That's just set us up. We didn't get any souls for it, but it's fine. We'll get souls for subjugating, which we're gonna. There you have it. Now is chaos. Good job, Xeno. You did a great job. Took him down. We could buff your uh, horsemen, which might be a good idea. Extra melee defense for the uh, Marauder Horsemen will actually help them out quite a bit. And a charge bonus means that when they're fought... I don't think they're being buffed. Ready. But it says non-demonic cavalry. And these guys are cavalry. They're missile cavalry, but they're still cavalry. They will be dominated. Ah, I should have looked at Doomfire. Ah, I should have looked at... Oh, well. Eventually, I'm going to want to get you Chaos Knights anyway. And this will work for that. But I probably should have looked a little closer. That's on me. I'll take that one on the chin. We, we've managed to stabilize our souls situation, but we're not going to be able to implement another gift until we actually get a massive amount of souls, which I'm not really sure where we're going to get that from. Maybe once we break through the wall and start... Although if we subjugate the Dragon Gate, we'll get some souls from there. But once we break through and start actually taking some of this stuff, then we'll start getting souls. Oh, for instance, so Pomai, or Pomei, or Pomi, whatever it's called, is not a d uh, dark hold, which means we can burn it to the ground and then instruct one of our vassals to colonize it. So we'd get souls for doing that. That would work out. Yes, indeed. There's a lot to manage here. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Vassal of the Warhost of the Apocalypse. That's going to become a thing. But for now, you have my faith. We'll take your money. The mountains call. Colex getting bigger. How big is he now? 9,300. His armor's getting up. Weapon strength is getting up. It's looking good. Commandment over here. Progress is being made. Must be said. We're doing all right. We control quite a lot of area. We control quite a lot of factions. Including some ogres, which is fun. I want to get an outpost in their settlement because I really want to get some ogre units. I'd like to get one in uh, the Gallows Tree as well, because it'd be Nurgle Demons, which we really don't have access to and would be pretty cool. Yeah, they're building an outpost in the Snake Gate, which is actually really handy of them. That's good. Now, Xeno, you need to start absolutely gunning it south to get ready to deal with Grimgore, because I think he's going to declare war on us soon. And if you get there before he declares war, I think I'll just declare war anyway, because we could do with the souls. I think it's 4,000 to establish an outpost, isn't it? 3,000. Yeah, we don't have the money for that. Of course, we still have these guys to deal with. Boldig Mountaineer. No one tells a tyrant what to do. I'm hoping that Karan can Slaughter take care of him, she. but we'll see. Uh, but that might be another thing that... Um, Xeno has to deal with. Colec, you're near enough fully recovered. Stormcrusher, yes! Yars, Stormcrusher! Oh, you're not there yet. Oh, that's annoying. Direct Make sure you're in our territory so you're replenishing. I want you to attack the Dragon Gate with us as well. Start being helpful. Start earning your keep. You don't need them defending the Fortress of Eyes anymore, it's pointless. We only needed that to keep it away from Village, anyway. Considering how much they hate us, though, we should be careful with the Flesh Greeders, because we don't want them getting strong. We don't want them actually taking territory and getting more powerful. We set up an outpost in Ironstorm, we get access to their units, and that's the most that they need to provide us with. Ooh. I could do with more money. Could definitely do with more money. So, 
also Iron Storm. They don't actually have any. They don't have anything in Iron Storm. Get it done. I think their camps are where they do their recruitment, so there's no point building a outpost there. Although if I don't, if it means butchery, Gruck, mate, I've got a job for you. Actually, I really, I'd really like you to defend your own settlement. That's what I'd like you to do. He's going. Where the fuck are you going? Carrick flag. Oh god, he took. Oh god, he took that. Okay, Lothar. Actually, what I want you to. Hmm. You need a boom. You. I can't instruct them to defend each other. Okay. Herald of the Tempest. We may have to accept the fact that Iron Storm just will be lost. Maybe let one of our um, vassals take it instead. Which means Kolek will get a little smaller. It's unfortunate, but it is the way of things. That's a valiant defeat. That doesn't surprise me. I see you start trying to wear them down. And uh, Zeno, where are you, buddy? Zeno, buddy, 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 buddy. I need you to fucking sprint down here to join the ongoing conflict. We will build an outpost in Magathkin's place. Gallow trees. Gallows tree, yep. Some plague bearers or plague toads would be really handy to have. We build that there, it'll help keep them safe. I imagine that the Imperial Warden's force will sally forth to attack us because they do have an advantage, so we will have to fight a battle. But I think Kolek and his boys can handle it. The main key to that battle will be neutralizing their large unit of um, archers because that's where they're going to do all their damage. They didn't sally forth. The longer they wait, the worse it will get for them, but we're going to have to make a move eventually because of the situation involving souls. But we might be able to weaken them a bit before that happens. My will does not bend. The units are suffering attrition. Chaos. Arcane conduit, yes please. Good. Now we see. So you just hold position for now. If Shan Liang gets off his the fucking ass and actually helps. Oh, you can't attack it because we're sieging it, but I wanted you to help anyway. Oh, you are helping, but you're not. Okay, cool. All right, whatever. Huh? Your life. You, you, you do what you do. Turn you to the challenge stone. Very tempted to just pounce on Grimgore's forces, but it might be worth trying to knock out the Mountain Eaters first. Carrick Flag is their headquarters. So if Zeno could get to Gorge of Rock, take it out, and then head down to Carrick Flag and take care of them, and then we could focus on Grimgor, that would be ideal. Now, is it going to turn out that way? Unlikely. Actually. Um, quite unlikely. But you never know. We might get lucky. Maybe the game will be merciful, and Grimgor will wait, and then we'll get him. Oh, there are more... We can't afford the Dragon Ogres. That's sad. Oh, well. Oh, well. Can I change you back to Chaos Undivided? Well, why not? I want you to be undivided, not Nurgle. Nurgle smells. To be fair, if any unit in the game could benefit from a Nurgle, um, Nurgle's blessings especially would be forsaken because of how fucking squishy they are. So making them tankier would actually be really handy. Grimgore's hard boys succeeded in their war. That's not good. Ah, you're here. Destruction for all. Only one I listen to is me. I listen to me. I have a plan. I doubt it will work, but it is a plan. You go there. You go to ambush stance. We've got a 45% chance that they won't know you're there. They might go straight for the challenge stone, get hit by you and ambushed by the garrison forces as well. And that would give them something to think about. It would also grant us more souls, which would allow us to maintain the siege for a little while longer. I serve only the, dragons. the units are suffering. Let's see what our chances are currently. 
Still a valiant defeat. I think I could win if I fought manually, but we would suffer such heavy casualties. I think we'd lose multiple units. Better to just hold them in place for now, or at least that's what I think. Upgrade that. We need the money. Jesus Christ, we do. Ooh, it's getting warm in here and all. You can tell it's uh, starting to move into spring when it's not minus eight degrees outside. It's really cold this winter. Working in this weather was a fucking nightmare, especially since I work with, or used to, I quit that job, but I used to work with water, which meant, you know, you cold weather combined with water everything. was not good. Oh, yeah. Ah, you've declared war. That means we might need to make the attack on the gate as soon as possible. Because if they send reinforcements, we're in big trouble. We're going to have to push them out. Zambaijin. Why would you do this? You went to move on the Dragon Gate, but you're not actually there. And Shan Liang is doing fucking nothing. Brilliant. And this didn't work. He ran off because he knew what we were doing. What a bastard. Spread ruin on them. But it did give Zeno time to heal. Did Zeno's thing even, from the looks of things, his, uh, his ambush didn't even fail. They just changed their mind. Which is interesting. And for now, Zeno, just focus on getting your units back. And that will help. All right, Kolek. I think we've drawn this out for as long as we physically can. If we leave it any longer, we risk um, celestial loyalist reinforcements showing up to ruin our day. And I'd like to have taken the place by then. Yep, no. Nope. There's nothing else for it. So. A fuck ton of peasant long spearmen, a fuck ton of archers, and the standard garrison of jade warriors with some horsemen. And led by a, uh, by one of these. This is the toughest battle we've fought to date, ladies and gentlemen, and could go poorly. It just could go poorly, but... It goes well. It goes well. I called upon my allies, my vassals, my minions to come assist me, and they're nowhere to be fucking seen. So... I've got an idea. I do have an idea. It's a bit of a risk. Mm. I was wondering if I should delay having the Marauders go on the walls in time to get two Shatterstones out so we could potentially wipe out two units. But the longer we leave it, the more fire we're going to take. We can't afford to be slow here. We have to be fast. We have to get in there, smash their units and keep moving something needs to be dying like a unit basically needs to be destroyed roughly every 20 to 30 seconds if we want to do enough damage to ensure they don't overwhelm us so yeah on that note War will be melee infantry get ready to scale the walls you guys form up and get ready to uh charge in there and muss them up At least Chaos Spawn will fight till they die. That's something. Guys, go over there. Chaos Marauders! Still a plan to have you guys do a thing. Something similar to what they did last time, but hopefully they'll have more time to actually do it to a helpful degree. Okay. Interesting, but okay. Don't know why they're facing the wrong way, but whatever. Now you guys get in there and take them out. You guys get on the walls. You guys break down that gate and just cause them some problems. You're pretty far ahead. Um, we can't see any of their units right now, really. Uh, tell you what, actually, I've got an idea for you. Oh, yeah, that fucking took them. That unit's practically dead. Get their archers. Kill them all. Good. And then... That won't really work over there. Nah. 
Yes, that'll work. Even if it just hits the spearman, it'll be pretty good. Hit them with that. Oh yeah, that's doing some. Oh, that's doing some real good. Oh yeah, that's doing some good. They, that annihilated that unit. That completely killed them. They are dead. Get in there and take them out. Hit them. Disrupted them at the very least. You guys ain't doing much, so get in there and fight them. Once the walls, once those gates go down. The, uh, the war dogs can come in. Get down there. Get on there so that you can throw shit at them. You have your own things you can do. Like that. And how are you doing? Doing alright? Big kills. Big kills is good. Hit them with that. Get them to stop. You guys get down there. If you're throwing axes. It's very good. Did you guys break through yet? You did. Question is, do you stand and fight or... Get over there. Get over there and take that. Hit their archers. We don't want them doing that anymore. We're inflicting kills. It is happening. Very well. Okay. All right. Chaos sorcerer. Oh yeah. Go on then. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, go on, go on. There it is. Oh yeah. Major kills. Major fucking kills. 152 kills from Chan. He's doing alright. You get over there and take care of them. You guys are all doing great. You guys get down there. You guys ain't doing nothing. Get down there and kill them. These guys are doing pretty well. Take out their archers. He is awake. Let's even kill them. What you guys doing over there? Chase them if you have to. Taking that, very good. Move on and take that. Chant, how you doing? Talk to me, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, you're doing pretty good, actually. Um, can you perhaps help with this situation a little bit? Oh, buddy, you can. Oh, maybe you should. This Colex taking a bit of a beating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are some kills. Those are some kills. Guys done fantastically. Get up there and kill them. Help Kolek. Kill them. Ah, oh, we're making it happen. You're over there taking that. Jade Warriors, you might be able to handle them. It's a bit risky, though. Still chasing them. Brilliant. It stops them from firing. You guys, um, fuck, I don't know. Actually, don't know where to send you. Just go over there. Taking them out. You guys are doing great. Run them down. Why aren't you attacking them? I swear to God. Kill them. Stop letting them shoot you. Just make sure they die, so they stop firing on us. <laughs> They're not doing well. 272 kills from Chan. 153 from Kolek. There's their leader. If Kolek could kill her. If Kolek could kill her. <laughs> that would help us quite a bit, actually. You guys are doing great. Get down there and kill them. Start helping the infantry. Because they're progressing, but very slowly. 
You guys are over there doing that. Any archers here? No, just some horsemen. Let's even get up there. Kolek, are you fighting her yet? You getting that? I want you to... Kolek, I want you to attack her. I don't know if that was clear. Oh, the damage! Let's see how this meeting of the minds goes. Oh boy, Kolek, go on, smash her, smash her. Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's what everyone wants to see. Oh boy, her health is melting. And she's dead. A word of a light, she's wounded, but um, yeah, this was the battle she really needed to win, and she didn't. And the army losses is kicking in. 155, 281, 124, 63, 99, 72, 93, 36, 54, 33, 33. 62, Forsaken did all right. 78, never mind, outclassed by Marauders, lol. The Warhounds didn't kill anyone and didn't need to. Not the hardest battle I've ever fought, but definitely risky. Definitely risky. We were outnumbered more than two to one. The funny thing is, looking at that army of theirs, I can already see how they could have done this better. Now, granted, dealing with things like Shatterstone and the mighty girth of Kolek is not great, but they really didn't use their units properly, as I'm sure you saw. Archers did not get many opportunities to fire, as you can see. Infantry were scattered all over the place, should have been protecting the archers. Their lords didn't cast many spells. I happen to know that lord is a spellcaster, so probably could have done more to help them. Jade warriors could have definitely contended us in many places. Lots of uh, peasant spearmen could have at least slowed down our large units if they'd had them working together. We didn't attack from that many directions. They had more units than us. They could have contained us, but they didn't. So, yeah. A siege defense is never as easy as it looks, especially when you're facing overwhelming power. When you're facing overwhelming power, the key is to just hold them in place for as long as possible while your towers do the work. And, you know, your ranged units, obviously. But it can be tricky. I'll have to give them that. It can be tricky. Too tricky for these guys, obviously. Subjugate. Fantastic. Our souls are back up. And we it succeeded in the ally mission. Everyone's very happy. We gained leadership to find Cathay. Very good. And the best part is we don't even need to defend the Dragon Gate anymore. My purposes. Because Balzan Zhao Zhao. Balzan Zhao. Chao, I don't know. Point is, they will take care of defending the Dragon Gate for us. And just if we just want to make sure, make sure they hold the Dragon Gate. Why don't we build a nice outpost there and start getting access to Cathay units? Yeah, maybe some ranged units. Do you like artillery? Do you like archers? Well, we can have some of those for ourselves. Doesn't look like we'll get much out of them, but even having access to Jade Warrior Crossbowmen is a pretty sweet prize. Better ranged units than Marauder Hunters, I'll tell you. Kolek is getting bigger and stronger. 10 out of 10 undivided authority. Maximum amount of upkeep reduction. And to stop it all off, Kolek, how big are you now? 9,604. He's getting there. He's getting there. So, it's the Celestial Emissary, uh, not Emissaries, <laughs> that's a very shit boss from Bloodborne. Uh, the Celestial Loyalists are currently opposing us. How many territories do they own? Two. Well, similar plan to what we did with those, uh, Nurgle boys. We conquer Weijin, then we take their remaining minor settlement and subjugate them. And then we can have our cake and eat it too. The, the issue, I suppose, is that we have expanded a little quickly. Which means we don't really have the economy to support what we're doing. But that's because A, I'm doing a series and want to keep things moving, and B, I'm kind of focusing on this whole vassalization thing. For funsies. For big fun. Honestly, giving that... Putting that buff on Kolek would be a great idea in some cases. Or even on himself. But chance has been doing very well, I have to say. Chaos Sorcerers, any wizard with fire. Fire wizards. 
very effective. Now, any spellcaster can be effective, depending on how they're used, but a fire sorcerer is the easiest one to use by a country mile. I'd rather not piss off the northern provinces prematurely, but that might not be something we can really help. Looking at it. So the best thing to do might be to head round to the snake gate and then loop round to hit Nangao as quickly as possible. Just zip in there, bam, got the dark hold, taken their um, capital away. Done and done. Bring the storm. Speed and wait. Speed and wait. That's Colex Sunnier. At 78 speed, he's actually pretty fucking fast. Faster than I thought he was. He can outpace heavy cavalry at that speed. Shame none of his upgrades allow him to get faster. Except for Foe Seeker, but that's temporary. But if we could get him a banner, there's a banner that just increases speed, I would put it on him in a heartbeat. He has daze and magical attacks. Yep, he's very good at messing people up. I can't wait to get him down this line and just... Boost his stats. Blade shield so he doesn't get hurt anymore. Or well, he doesn't get hit any as much. Thick skins to increase his already extremely large armor. Devastating charge so he cripples people on hit. Hard to hit and deadly blade. Just better combat skills. Wound maker. We can get his weapon strength even higher. Oh boy, we can. That's going to be over a thousand by the time we're done. I promise you that. Not just through Wound Maker, but through the Vassals. Scarred Veteran, so he takes, ev you know, he's got even more health. If we can get him an item, piece of equipment that allows him to regenerate. Oh boy. Colex Sunnier, if we can make him unbreakable and regenerate, no one, nothing can stop him. He will be unstoppable. Probably one of the most powerful single entities in the game by the time we've done that. That's the goal, is to get all of these vassals to make him one of the most powerful single entities in the game. This is a pretty fun way to play the uh, Warriors of Chaos, I gotta say, I'm quite enjoying myself. And uh, because it's a series, I've been forcing myself to take more aggressive actions, which has led to a much more dynamic and fun campaign. It's turn 32, which is actually reasonably far in, and we've already accomplished much. Maybe not as much as some others. What could you offer me? Yes, Loki? Oh, you want to talk. Not sure I do, really. I think I prefer subjugate him. That's the thing I need to consider. Every nearby fa faction is a potential vassal. Don't get to it. Don't get attached to any of them. Just fight them. Fight them. Subjugate them. They're mine. Kolik gets stronger. We get access to new units. Vassal tributes are always nice. Everything's good. I will destroy. Oh, Kolek, I think you might actually be in position to launch a surprise attack on Nangao. And I think Mao Ying is not even there right now. Which means you could just sweep right in there with a garrison of 10. You could crush them. Take the place for yourself. Our troll friends, or ogre friends, beg your pardon, are just wandering through here, chilling. Our warden friends are actually doing surprisingly well for themselves in units. It. Just holding this place for us. They don't like us. I'm pretty sure they don't. No, they really don't like us. Sounds like their problem. Sounds like a sounds like uh, them allowing us to subjugate them was a real skill issue on their part. Zeno so. can start moving in. I think Village is planning to have a go at them. That reminds me, actually, we might want to look into getting an outpost in Village's land. You have an ally mission? I'm sure we'll have to do that eventually, anyway. Puppets of Misrule, Volary. Uh, we wouldn't get anything special for it. We've already built that there. We wouldn't get anything for building that, so there's no point. I'm not going to spend money on them if they're not going to help me. Yusuk, on the other hand, would be decent to invest in. Boundary of Bones. I didn't ask what the place was called. Good name. Good name. Good name. How are you feeling, Zeno? Do you reckon you can take Mountain Eater, Baldig Mountain Eater? <laughs> He's a big boy. He's got the tricks to sell him. 
And you're just a Chaos Lord. Yep, Village just destroyed their camp. That's fun. Yep, may as well. They don't get many opportunities to uh, stretch their legs anyway, so may as well get them some free experience. Oh, you're almost set. You could almost make it. Well, considering we don't give a fuck about what they think of us, let's, um... Go to about there. And, uh, start raiding. Get some money. You could launch a preliminary strike on, um... On Grimgore. That might be something, actually. It looks like he's getting quite powerful. Can we declare war on Grimgore right now without incurring diplomatic penalties with the rest of the world? Because I could do without it. I could really do without it. Dip diplomatic penalties. Uh, some of our overall success is going to rely on us not being attacked by everyone at once. But this is also why it's a good idea to start hitting people and um, killing them. So that there are less factions to fight us. However, this can also lead, funnily enough, to... Uh, having more people attack us. Now, if we were to- if we were to declare war on you, sir, where is the declare war option? There. That's a little threatening. He's actually stronger than us. He's the strongest faction in the game. We may want to have a go at him. Let's get in there and make it happen. Suddenly, he's at war with a lot of people. And we start by saying- taking Blizzard Peak. Does, is this a defensive settlement battle? No, it's not. I say sweep them aside. Easily done. And unusually, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to occupy this one. Even though it's a minor settlement and not a dark hold, which means there's fuck all we can do with it, we can build, eventually, a resource thing. Which gives us, you know, faction-wide benefits, which is worth investing in. And the upsides to fighting little battles like this is that Xeno can get stronger and stronger. No. We will, we will, we may as well spec into that now because we've come this far. A glorifying act. Hopefully these guys can level up fast enough that they can become knights and help us. I would like it if they helped us. Yes, that'd be good. We've began war with Grimgore. Uh, we'll see how well that goes. Tempest incarnate. Yes. Forged in blood. For God's sake, Destroy you can't even get there yet. Fine. Just keep going. Our money is starting to pile up again, which is good. We made some good money. Castle tribute is going up significantly. They've recruited a lord for Nangao. That was probably wise. That was probably wise. It looks like Village is mainly having a go at the Mountaineers, so we might be able to leave him to it and we can focus on Grimgore. So that's the Western flank secured. That's good. Kolek can continue terrorizing Cathay now that he's broken the walls. He's Chris Jericho'd them, basically. Oh, you're here too. That's nice. Oh! Oh, a caravan! Dropped right in Zeno's lap. Who the fu- All oh, right, that's a- Okay, I thought that was the Lord for a second, and I was like, I've never seen a fucking Lord like that before, but no, that's just a river troll hag. Uh, yeah. Free money? Did you say free money? Oh my god, free money. I love free money and free souls. Oh my word. Excellent. And a free sword. I don't know what to do for you in terms of mounts and stuff, Zeno, so I'd say just just let me know what you want your lords to be like. I can't make him a spellcaster, sadly. He's not a spellcaster, but overall, just tell me what you want him to be like, and I'll, I'll, I'll set it up. I'll make it happen. I'll do the thing. You got a relic sword now. That's pretty good. Path of glory cost is going down. That's good. Skull Crusher is a good one to go for straight away. I am pleased. Say, the chariot does make you anti-infantry, so that might be good against orcs. 
We have a lot of anti-infantry in this army already. What we don't have much of is anti-large. Now, being on a steed wouldn't make you anti-large, but you'd still fight better against them than if you were on a uh, chariot, so that might be the way to go. Yes, 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 yes. It appears we've unlocked a new gift as well. Reaver's reward. We already had that, I'm pretty sure. We desperately want to get Carnage Incarnate because that is very useful for us to have. Dragon Ogre Shaggers will allow us to dominate the world. Hail of Hellfire. It's 1,500 to add to the slot. But we'd gain Hell Cannons. Which are really good. Huh. We could go back to Raiders Raymond if we want to help out Xenos. Well, actually, that would help all of our armies, really. It would increase the uh, strength of our Marauders. Yeah, throw that on. We've got a lot of Marauders at the moment, and giving them a buff is not a bad thing. Give me lightning! Give me lightning. Yes. lightning no, give me Nangao! The Imperial Wardens have joined us in attacking Nangao. Ah, you fools. I think we round off today by actually attacking Nangao. I don't think I even need to fight this, but let's see what the capital of Cathay looks like, or at least the capital of the northern provinces. So I've never fought here before. I did, I have done a campaign, not finished, but I started a campaign as the northern provinces, and I have to say, playing as Cathay is actually pretty fun when you get into it. You kind of have to force yourself to fight some battles because the early campaign in the northern provinces is so mind-bogglingly easy. It gets harder, it definitely gets harder, but to begin with, you're literally just sweeping away, like, the rebel provinces and stuff, and it's not a challenge. But if you force yourself to actually fight some of those battles, it's quite engaging and it's quite enjoyable, and you get to see... Ah, uh, what's her name? Mao Ying? Mao Ying? The Storm Dragon, as she's called. You get to see her doing her thing on the battlefield, which is really cool. We're not going to see her here, because she's not here. Only Lu Su... Lu Sun. Lu... Lu Sun? I don't know, Lu Sun. Only she's here, and uh, she's not going to be able to stop us. This is a pretty cool looking place. Check this out. That's nice. That's a nice place. Look at all the detail. All, all the effort that went into making a map like this is fucking nuts. Beautiful. And we're going to burn it to the fucking ground. Yay. Big burn for big boys. We still have Shatterstone, which is just brilliant. Might actually want to hold that until the end of the game, because it is that useful. Set you up here, and then just start grouping these up so we don't get confused. Very good. Get going. Get that wall taken care of. Oh, they're over there, are they? Okay, fair enough. Go break that gate. That's been destroyed. Very good. You guys. Get in there. Make it happen. Chant. I actually... I'll stop assigning to him to them now. Because actually Chant should operate on his own. Because he's on a flying mount. And he's quick. Which means he can just go around casting spells. You got hit pretty bad, didn't you, buddy? I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, just go there instead, it's fine. That missile resistance isn't doing us that many favors. Hit him with a little bit of the flame storm. Go on, do it, it's funny. Oh, yes. But wait, there's more. Oh, fuck, it's good. Ah, oh, fuck, it's real good. Ah, oh, it's so good. Unlimited power. <laughs> you love to see it. You do. You really do. Unless you're Cathay, and then you really hate to see it. Hit him with Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Is someone actually shooting you with arrows? I do believe you should take care of them. Without even looking at them. Don't need to. And then the Chaos Spawn come in to clean up what's left. Oh, you guys broke in. Very good. Ah, oh, shame those aren't archers. Go over there and take that. Oh, 
Get down there and take her out, I say. You help him. And what we do is as you get closer, buff yourself. Good. How are you guys doing? Doing all right, doing all right. You guys aren't even doing anything. Get in there and kill him. Has a long spearman. Watching the Chaos Spawn massacre their friends. Tell you what. Team up and take that out. Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. They are putting up more of a fight than I expected, I have to admit. Um, it's probably a higher ranking uh, uh, fortress, which is uh, helping them out a little bit. It's not enough to save them. Off yourself. Go in on her. She's terrified, that's good. Beat her up while she's terrified. Never thought I'd say that before in my life, but here I am. Oh yeah, go on, Kolek. You guys ain't got much going on. Oh, is there archers over there? Oh. Very good, very good. You guys did that, very good, very good. Go take the palace, it'll be funny. Not much going for them, really. Most of their units are dead or dying. You're killing her. That's good. You guys are now just plowing through the city. Go kill them. Do you massacre all them? Very good. I know they're a little tougher, but I think you can handle them. Wait for it. Oh! That gave him something to think about. Oh yeah, they didn't like that at all. Yeah, they didn't like that. They did not like that one bit. Around about the time they got struck by literal lightning, they were like, you know what, maybe the battle's lost. <laughs> maybe we can't deal with that. Oh, fun. Oh, it's actually really fun playing as Kolek. He's a fucking wrecking ball. And like I said, if I can make him unbreakable and get regeneration and perfect vigor, those are the three traits you want on your murder everyone lord, like your big single entity fighting character. Perfect figure, unbreakable, any kind of regeneration. And then you're laughing. Because they will fight as hard as they always can, forever, actually, sorry, there's four, but the fourth one requires unbreakable. You want perfect vigor, you want unbreakable, you want regeneration, and then you want frenzy. Frenzy combined with unbreakable is lovely. Because Frenzy provides you with bonuses to your melee attack and damage, provided your leadership stays above 50%. So if you get Unbreakable, which means your morale can never drop, and you can never break, you're always fighting at 110%. Which is absurd, combined with Perfect Vigor, of course, meaning you never get tired over the course of the fight. Regeneration prevents you from getting to the wounded state, so you'll never lose stats because of that. You'll basically be fighting as hard as you can for as long as you can. It's fantastic, and these are all things I want for Kolak. I don't know if I'll be able to get them all, because it can be kind of hard to get some of those things, but... I'd like to try. We've taken Nan Gao and made 26 gr Holy shit, we have a lot of money. Holy shit, we have a lot of money. Mountain God, yeah. Yeah, he is. Let's get him his 10% bonus to weapon strength. It's now above 700, and he's very good at fighting large things. It's just funny, because nothing's as large as he is. 9,600, and that is set to go up. Xeno can go back to Blizzard Peak. He's done an excellent job. And, oh, we'll get that salt, which will increase growth after battle. Every time we win a battle, all provinces gain plus 10 growth for a turn. And that trade stuff will actually help with our finances, because we are trading. We're not very good at it. We don't have a lot to give, but we are trading. 
Well, I think I'm going to leave that there, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten plenty done today. I said last time I wanted to start attacking the Great Wall of Cathay, and we've conquered it. We've conquered the Great Wall of Cathay. We've taken Nangao. We've subjugated Village. We've subjugated the Magus Kin and taken the plans of Zan Baijin. We've began war with Grimgore and taken Blizzard Peak. We've done a lot today. We made 20 grand, probably from attacking that caravan. We've done a lot today. And uh, I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I'm having an absolute blast. And for those of you who actually like Total Warhammer 3, I hope you are too. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Honey Doo, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, The Old Man River, Lord Skellington, <laughs> Jessica Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping with Joy, Warmas Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny C800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This is going well. It's going well in multiple ways. It's going well in the sense that we're actually doing well, but it's also going well in the sense that, like, hey, there are plenty more dangerous and difficult things we can go up against very, very soon, so it's not comfortable, which means it isn't boring, which means it's good in that respect, too. I'm sure you've probably already done it, bless your heart, but, you know, let me know what you want your lord to be like, and anyone else who wants to be a lord in the game, please let me know. I'm, we're going to need more lords eventually, so... If you, uh, you know, if you want to be a sorcerer lord or a normal chaos lord, let me know. If you want to be devoted to a specific god, give me a roadmap for what you want your lord to be, and I'll see what I can do. If there's, provided they don't die in their first battle, which would be hilariously tragic, but what will happen will happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Where happens next time, and, uh, war with Grimgor and the Ogres, and, uh, war with pretty much all of Cathay. Pretty much all of Cathay. I'm definitely going to need another lord if I want to fucking deal with all of this. Although our vassals will be helping. But uh, whatever happens next time, however well that goes, hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.